demonstrate the steps in assembling my CO2 car. I have my completed CO2 car, paint job all done, holes all drilled, it's ready to go. Some of the parts that I'm going to need to assemble my car are, obviously I'm going to need some, I'm going to need two back tires, and I'm going to need two front tires. I'm going to need an axle to connect each of the front tires and the back tires together. I'm going to need washers to reduce the friction between the back tires and the body of the car. I'm going to need two eye screws that will be inserted in the bottom side of the car to help guide it down the track on race day. And then I'm going to have a straw. I'm going to put I'm going to insert pieces of straw inside the axle holes. And that's going to help reduce the friction between the axle and the inside the wood body of the car whenever it drive, or whenever it runs down the track. In addition to that, uh, on race day, we can put a little bit of 3-in-1 oil or some graphite inside that straw and it'll help reduce that friction even more and make your, maybe make your car just a little bit faster to win the race. Okay? Some tools that I'm going to need are some, some heavy duty wire cutters. We'll use those to trim the axle. Going to need a ruler to do some measuring, sharpie to do some marking, some scissors to help cut the straw, and then we're going to use a scratch awl. You'll use a scratch awl to help start those center holes in the bottom of your car put the eye screws in the bottom of your car when we get to that step. Okay, step number one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of guess how much straw I'm going to need to go into my car. Now you notice when I put this straw in, if I've got straw sticking out the side, I've got too much straw going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it back until it's just about flush with the body of my car and I'm going to mark it there and I'm going to do Take these scissors, you gotta have nice sharp scissors, and I'm gonna do a little trim right there. So then what I can do, I can insert that piece of straw into, and sometimes it's easier said than done, but I can insert that piece of straw into the body of the car. Okay, I think I'm gonna try that again, because that piece got bent, and that happens sometimes. Just because I'm showing you a video doesn't mean that everything is going to go perfect. So I'm going to back that off a little bit. I'm going to leave the straw in there. I think that will work better. And I'm going to trim it off and then I can take and just push that straw inside and that's perfect. That's how you want it. You want it to be flush and then I'll do the same thing. I'm going to put the straw in the front, in the front here, make sure that it's about flush. I'm going to pull it back a little bit and then I'm going to trim it off because I don't want I don't want extra straw sticking out the side of the car, so I'm going to put it in there. So I'm all ready to go now. My straw sleeves for my axles are inserted in there. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure exactly how wide the bottom of my car is. The bottom of my car is one inch, one inch wide. So that's what I want to have happen. But subtracted from that one inch, I know that my axle is going to go up into the, 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 the hub, the, the, the plastic piece on my car, it's going to go up about a quarter of an inch on either side. So if I take that off, uh, I'm going to want to trim a little bit of my axle. So what I'm going to do, step number one, I'm going to take and I'm going to insert my axle into the bottom of the car. And I'm going to tap it in until it bottoms out. And I'm going to take that axle and I'm going to insert it into the car until it fits in there nicely. And then what I can do from this side of the car, from this side of the car, I know that my axle is going to go in about that far. So then what I can do, I can mark the axle to where I need to cut it. So then I can back out and with my Sharpie mark right about there, then I can take my cutters and I can snip them off. And then before I actually install this wheel in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a washer on and then I can insert that into the car and then I can put it on the other side. I'm going to use these axles over here that I already have pre-cut for this car and I'm going to go ahead and install the washers on and I can put that into the body of the car and then I can put my other washer on and then I can take my wheel and the reason I'm using these wheels is because I've gone ahead and I didn't want to use these, these new ones I'm going to use these wheels because I painted these the, the the wheels on this car to kind of match my to match the on the wheels to match my car, which you can do if you want to. And then I'm going to go ahead and insert that other wheel on, and I've got it cut to the right length. So right there, and I back it off a little bit, and now my wheels turn nice and smooth, and I've got the washer in there to reduce the friction. Put it up here to reduce the friction, and then I'm just going to do the exact same steps. What I would do in step number one, I would tap that axle in and then 
I would set it up here and I would slide it in. Oh, the straw fell out. I'm going to put the straw back in. I'm going to put my straw sleeve back in. Put that back in. And I'm going to insert my wheel. Oh, can't forget to put the washer on. I would put the washer on. And then I'm going to insert that in. And then I would look at my front wheel and I would determine about how much of the plastic stub sticks out there. And I would lay it out and mark it to where I've got about that much axle sticking out the, the inside of my car. And then I would take the cutters and cut it, but I'm not gonna do that with that brand new one because I have these wheels that I've already painted and inserted the axle in. So I'll put a washer on there and then I will insert it. Oh, my straw fell out again. That straw is kind of loose. Insert it in there and I would insert my straw in and I would go ahead and take my other washer. I have it here and I would put that washer on and then I could go ahead and take my other cool painted wheel where I painted the wheels to, to match and I would insert it and loosen them up a little bit so I get free roll and now I have my my wheels and axles all inserted. I'm going to set these out of the way, those for, for, for demonstration purposes. I set my car up and I've got a car that rolls pretty darn nicely down the track. So the last thing that I need to do for the assembly part of my car I just need to flip it over and what I would do, I have already predetermined two spots. I'm going to put my eye screws in as close to the center of the bottom of the car, uh, of the car as I can, front and back, and you're going to notice that I did not start the hole directly over my axle hole. I started the hole just in front of or just behind the axle hole because if I, put, if I insert the screw, the, the eye screw, directly over the axle, when I, when I take it and twist it in, if I twist it all the way in and it lodges against the axle, then it would stop the axle from rolling. So I want to make sure that I go just in front of or just behind. Sometimes you have to use quite a bit of pressure to twist those in. Even after you start the hole with the scratch all, you got to twist that in and twist it. And then you want that eye screw to be facing front to back just like that. Now there's a little tricky part here to put in the, the second eye screw in. One of the things that you've got to make sure that you can do is you've got to make sure that you can eyeball down through this eye screw, and I'll go ahead and start this one in before I screw it all the way in. I've got to make sure that I can sight through both of those because if you have a car that has a curve on the bottom and you get one of those eye screws set down in the curve, as the string goes down through the eye screws and if it has to dip down and come back and rub on the bottom of your car, it will greatly, greatly decrease your speed because of the friction between that string and the bottom of your car. So I'm going to screw that one in. I'm going to make sure that they're both turned the correct way so the string can pass through them. I'm going to eyeball through and there I have my completed painted CO2 car ready to roll, ready for race day and it's ready to turn into the teacher and put on display, get graded and put on display so all of your fellow classmates, all your schoolmates can walk by and admire the fine work that you've done. And good job on that CO2 car.